Hello, everyone. Welcome to my Sister Wives official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Robin Brown, who plays Sister Wives, has always attempted to mask her nasty side with intermittent kindness. But on occasion, her mask has come off. Cody Brown and his wife established reality TV royalty over 14 years ago with the premiere of Sister Wife. During the first season of Sister Wives, Cody was pursuing Robin to become a family member, and by the show's conclusion, the couple had tied the knot. However, the Brown family's dynamics would irrevocably shift from then on. After Robin's addition, Cody's relationships with his wife began to deteriorate, and the family's flaws grew more apparent with each passing season. However, the CUVAG-19 lockdown soon became the catalyst for the collapse of Cody's other marriages as he started feuding with and neglecting his wives and kids. While Cody's bias in favoring Robin was a major factor in sparking the argument, the fourth wife hid behind the curtains to deny any wrongdoing. But Roman's manipulation and orchestration of the family dispute make her just as guilty as anybody else. 8. Robin Brown got the fancy house. She pretended she didn't want the best home. Robin had a castle while the other women managed small dwellings. It was difficult for the Brown family to get a home large enough to house everyone after they departed Lehi, Utah. Because of bigamy investigations, Cody began to split his time between his family and the spouses when they had to move out. Christine, like the other women, had put a lot of money into a huge piece of property in Arizona's Coyote Pass, which the family intended to develop, so she had no problem getting a mortgage when the time came to buy a house. Surprisingly, as Christine resorted to living in a trailer park and the other wives managed their little homes, Cody lavished $890,000 on a new home for Robin. Before that, Robin had been talking about renting a little house, and it was surprising to see she didn't stop Cody when he decided to spend such a substantial sum on a home for her. But once again, Robin had always understood how to fake, since Cody wouldn't have paid for the house without her saying so. 7. Robin Brown pressured Maddie Brush about her choice of church. Robin didn't want the kids sharing their opinions. Like practically everyone in the Brown family, Robin got along very well with Maddie Brush, Cody and Janelle's daughter, when she first joined the family. Maddie even made up the nickname Birdie for Robin. However, their relationship eventually shifted after the family moved to Las Vegas when Robin started imposing her influence into Maddie's life. The Brown family's move to Las Vegas was unforeseen, which meant they had to locate a new church. Robin discovered a method to remove Cody from his kids, and instead of playing mediator, she opted to cancel a family ritual. However, Maddie wasn't entirely taken with the family's new church in Vegas and wanted to attend a church youth group of another religion. Robin pushed back on Maddie's selections and refused to budge even when Maddie stated that the kids had been assured they had the option to pick their faith. Roman believed Maddie and the kids needed to grow their frontal lobes to make choices. Although Robin tried to explain her position as if she were looking out for Maddie, it was really her ego at work. 6. Robin Brown talked about Mary, Christine, and Janelle's stretch marks and weight gain, Robin poked fun of the spouse's bodies. The claims of Cody preferring Robin over the other wives have been one of the longest running topics of Sister Wives. However, during the Sister Wives season 17 tell all, Robin sat with host Sukini Krishnan to address these allegations. Robin started by praising Cody for being a nice person and husband before noting that his marriage with the previous spouses fell down because they weren't caring for their connections. Robin stated the other women drove Cody away by not showing him attention and continually pestering him via Newsweek. However, Robin carried her comments even further when she stated that while the other spouses weren't taking care of their bodies, Cody still stayed, stating, I knew, and I saw that when there's stretch marks and there's weight gain, and there's like 
You know you're being stagnant in the marriage. Robin's assaults on the wives were uncalled for as she again exhibited her cruel personality. 5. Robin Brown separated Cody from his older sons. At Christmas time, Robin didn't want her stepkids in her sparkling home. The 2022 Christmas was expected to reintroduce some normalcy to the Brown family after the traumatic seaweed lockdown strained connections between Cody and his kids Garrison and Gabe. Cody's stringent lockdown regulations had separated the family for most of the year, and Garrison and Gabe struggled to cope with some of their father's demands, leading to some disagreements. Nonetheless, the kids had planned to exchange gifts in line with their annual Christmas customs, but Robin's presence abruptly ruined the Christmas plans. Robin didn't want Cody's older children in her home, which she blamed on the gap between Cody and his sons. Robin's reason was that she didn't want the tension to increase, which would lead to a brawl and spoil everyone's celebration. Once again, Robin found a method to divide Cody from his kids, and instead of playing peacemaker, she opted to cancel a family tradition that the kids were awaiting. 4. Robin Brown hasn't posted about Garrison's passing. She was a part of Cody's post, though. Robin's social media has been silent on Garrison's passing. On Tuesday, March 5, 2024, the Sister Wives group was shaken with the news that Cody and Janelle's kid, Garrison, had passed away. Garrison appears in Sister Wives season 18 when he talked about the split between him and Cody and the progress he was making in his life. After the devastating announcement, condolences flooded in for Garrison including from the wives who took to their social media profiles to memorialize Garrison in their manner. However, Robin hasn't posted anything about Garrison. Although she was present at his burial and participated in Cody's post about Garrison, Robin hasn't posted anything personal to her social media profiles to mourn or remember Garrison. While it is logical to presume Robin hasn't posted perhaps to prevent fans' answers condemning her for adding to Garrison and Cody's feud. Nothing precludes her from creating the post and shutting off the comments. Three, Robin Brown taunted the other wives by sitting next to Cody at family meetings. Robin was a self-proclaimed queen of the Brown family. Often, it is quite tough to identify the passive-aggressive methods Robin intimidates her sister wives. However, one of her most blatant strategies is her determination always to be the wife seated next to Cody during their family gatherings. The fact that Robin was the only wife legally married to Cody gave her a boasting right over the other wives. However, she cleverly rubbed this in their faces by always sitting close to King Cody, presenting herself as the queen. Unsurprisingly, she also bragged about how she could speak Cody, declaring herself as the one wife who understood him best. Don't think Robin's ever lived plural marriage, honestly. Two, Robin Brown probably lied about loving polygamy from day one. Robin exhibited no signs of accepting polygamous ideals. Although Robin was raised in a polygamous family, before joining Cody's plural family, she was married to David Jessup, which ended in a divorce. While she mentioned her upbringing as one of the reasons why she didn't mind polygamy, Robin never genuinely lived a polygamous lifestyle. From the moment Robin joined the family, her attempts to have Cody all to herself were quite evident, and she didn't even bother to develop a decent bond between her kids and the other children. Being part of a polygamous family requires honoring your position within the family and performing your part in the family system, something Robin never did. Robin never looked to conform and always sought methods to estrange Cody from his other wives and kids. During Sister Wives Season 18, Episode 2, Christine claimed, I don't think Robin's ever lived plural marriage, honestly, adding that she knew Robin wasn't meant for polygamy when she met the family before she and Cody were ever married, via Business Insider. 1. Robin Brown cut Cody off from his other wives. Robin personalized Cody. Robin's entrance to the Brown family in 2014 
was intended to symbolize the further growth of a polygamous family that started in 1990 when Cody and Mary said their I dose in the presence of their families. However, just a couple of years after that Sister Wives episode with Cody and Robin exchanging vows with Mary, Janelle, and Christine expressing support from the stands, the Brown family is no longer what it used to be. Christine left in 2021, Janelle in 2022, and Mary in 2023. The wise decision to leave all pointed towards Cody's fondness of Robin and how she successfully manipulated and distanced Cody from the other wives and their children. With the Fishers and their marriage becoming visible, Cody, supported by Robin, blames everyone else but himself for the difficulties that plagued his marriage. Despite the other wives' effort and determination to preserve the marriage, Cody would claim Robin was the only wife he ever loved, and the other wives left. Robin's only contributions were short, unapologetic, and pretentious tears. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.